Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this guide in getting the Thunderlord Exotic Heavy Machine Gun. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this three week quest started with Amanda Holiday during the ending stages of the Festival of the Lost Event. We are investigating the death of Master Ives, the Reef crypto from D1. Now I say a three week quest because the quest started three weeks back. But if you are new to this, you can start this quest straight away also by going to Amanda Holiday. Now I ain't sure if you pick this quest up now if you will still have to wait a week between each step like we have had to who picked it up when it first became available. That is something someone who has recently picked it up will have to let us know. So if that's you, be sure to fill us in within the comments section. Okay, so the quest starts with Amanda Holiday, so go to her. She will give you a quest called Journal of the Cryptarch. Here you have to find 10 journal pages. These are acquired through engrams, legendary or exotic via enemies within the EDZ. Collect 10 legendary or exotic engrams, head to the Cryptarch and decrypt them. Each gives you one page, one journal page, 10 in total and you get this done. Now an even easier way of doing this, and it takes you about a minute, is to buy engrams from the Cryptarch within a tower. But it does require shards, but if you have them to spare, then it saves you farming enemies within the EDZ, which can take you absolutely ages to get 10 engrams, uh, legendary and exotic, ridiculous. Now, I'm pretty sure this wasn't intended by Bungie, so it may have been hot fixed. To test it, simply buy one engram first from the Cryptarch, then decrypt it. If it gives you a journal page, you are then good to go and buy a further nine. If it doesn't, away you go to the EDZ to farm engrams. Now if it is time gated and you have to wait a week, you'll get this as the next step where it states she will contact you when she has any new developments. If there is no longer a time gate, the next step will pop up straight away saying the following. Amanda won't reveal her source, but her efforts have paid off. Here you have to travel to the EDZ, via the trust land and complete these three lost sectors, each giving you clues. The Atrium, the Terminus East and Widow's Walk. Once you've completed these three lost sectors, the next step in this quest is to complete the Whispered Fools lost sector within the outskirts area on the EDZ, this one right here. So once you've completed this lost sector, the next step again, if it isn't time gated, will be to go to Amanda Holiday here waiting for you. She will have the next step in which you have to travel back to the outskirts lost sector and access a new mission via a trans map pad, which teleports you to a new mission, which is inside the end of this lost sector. So travel deep into it and you will come to this trans map pad. The mission loads you into the very start of the D1 campaign upon the Cosmodrome. Here you have to take down this shield blocking your way by killing this shank bastard. Then make your way through until you get to this familiar room. Here a fallen boss will spawn and damn he has some health. With a shitload of fallen adds too. Eventually getting the boss around halfway down a servitor will spawn in which sometimes which sometimes shields him. It's best for you to take this out, then just eliminate the boss. You are then instructed to escape the Cosmodrome, making your way back the way you came, until you get to this spot right here. This then instructs you to visit Amanda Holiday once again within the tower. Upon doing this, she gives you Master Ives' last engram, an exotic. Take this to the Cryptarch, and it rewards you the Thunderlord people. Simple as that. Also important to note, Eververse is now selling for 700 silver a special ornament for this weapon, the Tleilox Wraith. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. This is how you get the Thunderlord. Pretty easy if you ask me. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.